I'm in the Creative 8 embroidery software, and today I'm going to create an embroidery design that I will use as the quilting motif for my quilt. Now, I will make several of them because I have sashing, cornerstones. I'm only going to show you one. I will be using a tool called the Quilt Block Wizard, and you'll find this in the extra or the elite levels, subscription levels of the software. We'll open up Quilt Block. I have five different choices. I will be selecting the no inner shape. First thing that I want to do is what is the shape that I'm going to work with. And in this instance, I'm going to put it on a 45 degree angle. I want it to replicate the block that I'm quilting on my quilt. Then I will select the size of the square, 140 millimeters. I've done the math before, didn't just guess it. And I will choose a crosshatch pattern. So I have lots of patterns that I can choose from, including bringing in some of the decorative stitches from the embroidery machines. Under options, I have the ability to make changes. I know the lines are too close together for my liking. I will increase it to 10. And if I want to increase the stitch length as well, I can do that here. I can change the type of stitch the curves and so on. There's lots of, lots of choices. There is my finished design. We'll select finish and that brings it into my embroidery hoop. Now we'll deselect that. I want to fill in the corners as well. So I'll go back to the quilt block wizard. I'm going to again, select no inner shape. This time I will select a triangle I don't need it to be on an angle, so it's going to stay that way. And the size is 94 millimeters. We select next. I'm going to leave it with a stipple. That's a, a nice background fill. Again, the gap is a little too close for me, so I'm going to bump that up to six. And I'm going to change the stitch length to 2.0. You want to be careful not to make it too small or make it too large because it can affect the way that the curves are. So 2.0 should be good for this. Select finish and there is my corner. Now, if I wanted to eliminate the outer edge, the outer lines, that's easy enough to do under the modify tab. I'm not going to do that today, but I would simply duplicate under home. I'm going to duplicate that three times and then select each one and using the rotation tool, I can rotate it until it is in the correct position. Now, if you are gonna make any modifications to this, I recommend that you do that before you do the duplicate. So when you duplicate it, that you are duplicating only the version that you want. Just for the sake of showing you how this works, I'm not going to do that. All right, and we'll select this last one and we rotate it and bring it in. And now there is my finished design. One of the things that I really like about the embroidery software, the Creative Aid embroidery software, is that we have the film strip on the left-hand side so I can see each one of the individual components. If I want one specifically, it's easy enough to select them over there. And there you have it, my embroidery design that I will use as a quilting motif.